But there you go with it. So work in progress, as we all are in life. You know, it's and this stuff. So uh, we're good though. Fun times. All right. So I'm just gonna kick it off the intro, and then we'll get into just talking about you. Like I said, whatever you want to share. Sip your lemonade. Do your thing, and we're here for you. You know what I mean? Yeah, What's going on, folks? Welcome to the Lemonade Podcast. I'm your host, Frank. Here at the Lemonade Podcast, we go by the same. When life gives you lemons, we make lemonade. And we pour it onto the world. And with that, we hope to encourage, inspire, and empower not only those of you tuning in, but our guests themselves. And today's guest is Justin. Welcome. How you doing? Good. How are you? <laughs> so far, so good. Good. Um, one, appreciate you coming out. All Coming all the way from... Orange County yeah, area, yeah, LA, yeah. you know, all that stuff. Yeah, man. I'm glad you came out. Um, we do appreciate when people come a long way for this. It's just our little show. Um, but it does mean a lot to, to us, oh, you know, and it, it means a lot to me having you here today. Um, because one, I am a huge fan of what you do. <laughs> Thank you. And we'll get into that. Um, uh, and, and so to me, like I said, to, with, I said earlier, with the podcast, with everything that we're doing, just want to showcase the folks that are here. Most of the time is the idea was to start with somebody who's just starting out and yeah. we, you know, we see their talent or potential or we're yeah. just fans. We're like, yo, everybody should see this so that you can feel more validated, you know, with yeah. that and c- continue to pursue what you do. Um, you have pretty established. So... <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean. I think <laughs> I think if I mention Black Rabbit when they ask about a photographer, they know who I'm talking about. You know, I, you know I, I respect mean? that. I'm like, all right. I, I mean, mean that's the, I mean, in, in whatever the community is, yeah. you know, um, as far as when it comes to photography, yeah, you know, um, I don't know if I'm at that level yet. <laughs> you know, where people be like, hey, do you know XPLR? And I'm like, well. I don't. Yeah, I think people also are a little um, taken aback from the name. Not taken aback, but they're just kind of like, I don't know what the fuck that means. So <laughs> for, any, for anybody that is wondering, XPLR is just Explorer. Yeah. I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's Explorer because I um, I'm a big fan of the outdoors and I'm just. Oh no, your stuff is explore. amazing too, man. I appreciate really, that. Yeah, really come in. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been trying to get a couple folks because of one, like I said, because I'm a fan and I just feel like everybody in the fucking world. Yeah. Or at least in our little world of 52 followers right now on YouTube, <laughs> or 53. <laughs> nah, but uh, everybody yeah, should no kind of at least, if anything, just see your work. You yeah. know, um, I feel like a lot of what you do, um, I would say, it's, you know, it's a little darker. To, yeah. You know, um, but I'll let you describe that. You know, um, but there's a lot of emotion to it. There's some pieces where I'm just like, oh wow, this is this is gnarly. And I'm like, man, I wish I had shot that myself. <laughs> but it's all a compliment. Oh, man, that's, but how, it's very that's how it is for everyone. Are you mm-hmm. kidding me? We all go through the process of like, damn, that's freaking awesome. Or just, yeah. uh, trust me, I, I go through it all the time. So uh, so you're in, where exactly are you at in L.A.? I'm in, uh, I'm in actually Orange County area, okay, like right. your Belinda area. Okay, yeah. dope, dope. Uh, how long, are you from Cali? Yeah, I'm actually, I was born in Los Angeles. Okay, what part? Oh, God. Do you remember? Did you not stay there long? <laughs> not that. I was like, uh, you know, like Twenty uh, Third Street, the um, oh, Hoover okay. area. Okay. Yeah, was, uh, that I, area. I'm not too familiar. I mean, I was born in. I was. I was born in San Fernando. I was raised in San Fernando, San Fernando oh, Valley. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I moved out here when I was like 15 and whatnot. So yeah, I was born. Oh yeah, I was born over there, and then I only lived in LA for probably like the first five, six years of my life. Okay. And yeah, after yeah. that, that's when I'm. Moved out toward like Covina and just everywhere around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally established more in Diamond Bar, and then after that, that's when I ended up moving in Dora Belinda. Okay, dope, dope. Uh, what you do, um, what is it that that I guess you could say inspires you to do that? To do the the photography that oh you do. Oh God, he. I get asked that a lot, you okay. know, about the yeah. inspiration behind mm-hmm. everything, and honestly. I try not to have the cliche answer of just like, you know, it's music, it's movies. That do. yeah. Don't get me wrong. These things do move me a lot. You mm-hmm. know, I will come up with concepts with just the music behind yep, it. Yep, I love it just, that. It's, yeah. As the music's playing, I picture scenes in my yeah, head. Of, that's the same here. And, of course, taking them and turning them to still photos, blah, mm-hmm. blah, which at one point felt like very simplistic. Mm-hmm. And then it turned into, obviously, now a lot of things are about video now. Mm-hmm. So now, actually, it's it's a whole. Are you making, are you Going into video, I want to. That's okay. the idea. Mm-hmm. Like I would really, even if I just start off with like just 
snippets of like what I'm actually shooting, you know, right. and then turning it into like, okay, how was the end result kind right. of thing? Like I've been seeing a lot of that yeah, yeah, and it looks, sure. and it looks pretty cool, you know? Yeah. And the thing, like the process that I do, cause I'm not like great at Photoshop. Mm-hmm. I try to be, mm-hmm. but like, I try to like, just try to incorporate so much into like real time into it. Yeah. Uh, so like again, like burning something instead of just photoshopping all the fire, actually having like some something fire. burning and all yeah. that stuff. And uh, so I I bought a piece from you, um, and it was um, I don't know if you name your or title your pieces, your shots, your I, concepts, um, but the one I got was uh, the burning. I'm gonna call it the burning girl because I don't know yet, but okay. she was in the middle of like um, just high grass, high dry grass, and there was fire. Um, oh, it was like the ballet. Yes. Yes. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually one of my favorite shots. I remember, and yeah. if, correct me if I'm, I'm wrong, please, Stu. When you posted it, I think people were, like, tripping because you were, like, supposedly <laughs> set the grass on fire, <laughs> right? And you're yeah. like, oh, especially here in fucking California, you can't oh, set Oh, man, right? everyone went, yeah, I started getting messages about, like, and it still do, even till this day. Mm-hmm. Even till this day, I still get random ones when people just find my page and all yeah. that. Yeah, someone went on about, like, you know, you, you know, how can you light a fire in the middle of blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And that was all Photoshop. Right. I wasn't working with fire at that time because yeah, I, I had the idea. And actually, that wasn't even supposed to be the photo. The mm. photo itself was just her on the chair. Mm-hmm. And I just thought it was, like, just the whole scenery itself yeah, was, it was, like, dope. beautiful as hell. Mm-hmm. And then later on, I just started, like, when I started teaching myself stuff, that's when I started adding more and more gotcha. onto it. Yeah. And then it became what it is, like, now. And I was like, I was actually kind of proud of myself of how that came out. I'm like, wow, there was like no fire, but it looks like there was. Well, no, you know? for sure. And then people were like, yo, Hux, yeah, I remember, I remember that. Yeah. And it was a while back. Yeah. Yeah. But I remember seeing your stuff. Um, I think you've worked with a couple, I want to say one person, at least one person that I've worked with, um, Kayla. Uh, I want to say it's Kayla. <laughs> Dearly Departed. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah, it's yeah. Kayla. It's yeah. Or Kylie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. I, okay. I, don't, I don't know. I don't call her by that. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah, with her, and she's, she, you know, she's got that. I don't know what you'd call the, the whole vibe she's got. Yeah. Um, but you've worked with a lot of artists, you know, in in that scene. You know? Oh yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Um, what is it that drives you to work with those folks? Because I know that's more of a. Well, again, part of me because I don't know what you you know what the, the, the that community calls it, but to me it's like this horror side, of. Oh, I mean, yeah. what do you call it? I wouldn't really know what to call it. Like, yeah. I, I just know what, like, got me interested in it. Like, mm-hmm. the biggest person I worked with, with her, uh, her name's Missy M.M. Custom. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And she's, she's amazing at everything that she does. It's, yeah. She's freaking awesome. And that's actually just kind of how I got into it. I was mm-hmm. already a fan of her uh, going through oddities that used to come around. Mm-hmm. I just already seen her work, and I was, like, a huge fan. And mm-hmm. I just I was just one of those people I was like, man just to shoot her stuff or see if I could, you know, how does it work? How do you borrow things? How do you borrow? Like, I didn't know any of the process of like, how are you able to shoot that? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just one day she would just end up just out of nowhere. Like, Hey, I need another photographer or whatever. Okay. Is anyone available? I always remember sitting at a park and I was like, Oh, I'm like, you, let me just put my, you know, throw my hat in the ring. You yeah. know, like she doesn't follow me. So I was like, you know, like the whole request thing and all that. Right. So I'm like, I might get lost in whatever. I'm like, I didn't. And you shot your shot, bro. She, yeah. And she freaking, uh, she, uh, Messaged me like almost immediately. It was like, nice. and then that's when she's like, "Yeah, well, are you available this day?" And that day, it was already just like straight just to like, it. Of course, I was like, "Oh, yeah. shit, I didn't even know if I was available yet." I'm like, right. "Yeah, I'm like, let's, 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 just, let's just do it." And I, I remember I just did whatever I can yeah. to be, and then nervous as hell doing that because these are people like just their work in general. It's mm-hmm. like they, were, you know, they know what they're doing here. Right. I am just trying to be like, "Oh, I just create from what you guys have." You know, right. you don't know if it's gonna match or whatever, but it did and. And from there on in, it just ended up being something yeah. just really awesome from, like, just, oh, God. Like, she, like, works within, like, chaos, but it's, like, it just works so yeah. well. Yeah, like, yeah. she'll just have an idea of me, like, yeah, he wants you to do it this weekend, and it just, like, yeah. immediately just goes. Yeah, I think it, there's this being spontaneous about it, you know, because you when you have that idea, I mean, at least for her, maybe that's how it works. Because for me, it works the same way, almost like, hey, if I don't do it now... I'll do it later, but just that yeah, intensity, yeah, yeah. that fierceness, you know, that passion that you want to, you know, bring to it, yeah. you know, it won't come out as well. And, you know, you may tap into it later, but it's better to, to act on it, like, time, you know. It's a different way of working, like, and it's crazy because she can pull it off. But, like, with me, mm-hmm. I have to try to plan. I mean, everything I shoot is, like, has to take some sort of planning, but that's yeah. also what kills the mood and kills the vibe as well. Because as long as I keep, like, just letting it just like all right maybe i'll get to this or maybe i'll get it just 
sooner or later it just I don't right. end up doing it or it doesn't end up happening or something mm-hmm. like that. So it's like I'm trying to still even till this day I'm still trying to get myself in the mindset of just like all right once you have the idea let's just figure out how mm-hmm. what we need for it mm-hmm. and how to just get it together and just do it. Right. Yeah. So. It's it's a balance you know because you you still I don't know if you are but you as an artist or as any anyone in the world you continue to grow you want to you oh. know. <sighs> <laughs> and, and, and with that, it, you know, all that comes where it's like, well, let me act on this right now and let me just be free with it and free flow and freestyle it. And, and hopefully it comes out as good as I see it in my head because it never truly does. It ne- you know what I mean? It really Even doesn't. Even though as dope as it does come out, you're like, hell yeah. You know, um, bless you. <laughs> bless you, Matt. <laughs> Shout out to Matt real quick. Um, <laughs> say hi to Matt because I know the Matt. people can hear you now. <laughs> Hello. Uh, oh yeah, and um, shout out to Mike. He's not here today. Um, oh yeah, but we got a little bite, sound bite for him. <laughs> he knows it already. Nah, but um, yeah, man. And, and then there's that other side of, damn, I, it needs to be this, this precise. And you know, you're so anal about certain things. And, That's... and and once again, is you gotta find the balance, especially when working with other people, because. You know, me, the toughest part about all this process right here is allowing other people in my creative space. Really? That's good. It, it, well, because you, you seem like really well, like, you know, like it's social. Like you can mm-hmm. say, I'm, I feel like I'm awkwardly yeah. social. So I, I'm sorry, awkwardly, yeah, I can't socialize very yeah. well. No, I mean, I, 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 I so play like, it well. So it's, that's why it's hard for me to actually work with new people because I mm-hmm. was like, you know, again, and not only that, but also like what I do ends up just being like a weird process of like, oh, yeah, let's see if like. Let's just try to get a shot of you in the water, blah, yeah. blah, blah. And water's freezing cold. Right. I was like, to try to put people in that situation. So I was like, so I like working like mm-hmm. within the people I know that, all right, they know my process already yep. and whatever. So it's like. Yeah, it's a lot of trust in that. Too, yeah, exactly. For sure. So, and I, 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 um, I have, I don't want to say it's a problem, but uh, that's why there's only the same thing. I, there's certain people that, hey, man, shoot with Frank, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Yeah. Because I'll have you, hey, do this pose this way, hold it for a while because I'm going to be here. Or, hey, let's use this and that and this element, that element. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. cold. <laughs> and but don't worry about it. It's dope. It looks yeah. dope. And they trust you. Yeah. You know, they trust you to get it right because <laughs> they're not going to sit in that cold water all day. But they know that what's going to come out. And to me, to the point of MM Customs, Sorry, yeah. Oh, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to MM Customs. Um, <laughs> trusting or seeing your work is like she put that trust in that, you know, because she oh, could have been oh. anybody. And I don't know what her process is either way. But yeah, yeah. I think what it, what it is at the end of the day is your work speaks for itself. And that's what I try to do. I think we all try to do yeah. that. But you, you don't you don't have to say much, you know, especially with MM Customs. But she's like, I'm looking for a certain vibe. I, she knows and it matches. It's like, yep, that's what it is. And all he, she has to do is look at your feed, look at your work, and be like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I trust this enough. And, you know, I think at that point you have to trust yourself enough to, to deliver. Yeah, that's uh, and that's the hard part about everything. Again, like you said, you're, I mean, obviously in this world, like you're your own worst critic. You oh, know? yeah, for sure. No matter what. Like mm-hmm. you were saying how, like, things never come out exactly as mm-hmm. planned. But the craziest thing is looking back on my feed even today. Mm-hmm. I end up actually feeling more and more proud and happy about the stuff that I did do at mm-hmm. the time. Oh God, it was just oh. like, it was like, ah, oh, you know, let's see to see how this does. Yeah. You know? And I can see all the mistakes I made or whatever, uh-huh. but I just trying to get at least the concept yeah. out there, you know, For sure. and the idea of it. Oh yeah. Now criticize the shit out of it. I'm like crazy. Yeah. To the point where there's like, so there's actually a lot of work I've never posted because of that. And right. then lately, actually, I just started doing that. I started mm-hmm. actually going back to like my old catalog mm-hmm. I and mean, like things like shot two years ago, right. three years ago, re-editing now yep. and being like, you know what? I have a different process. Oh God. I used to do the thing where, um, to make like the, the aesthetic match. I used to do the whole like, uh, post three times. Yes. Yeah. I used oh to, yeah. Oh I did yeah. That. I, I did, did that. that whole process. Cause it People looked, it, it did look awesome and it, it does, does look, look awesome. Good. It and looks very get, like, it looks very clean, very like it does. And organized. You get, and you get, um, a couple shots of that, that would shoot. Whereas to, you post one picture and, yeah. and I'm the same way. I used to do the three match yeah. and all stuff. And I think at one point I forgot and it threw my feet off. Yeah. And I was like, Oh crap. And so then, at the end of the day, now I'm I have it now where it's color, color, black and white, right see, now. No, that's see, that's cool. But you still have an right. idea of it mm-hmm. though. Like me, I just went off the board. Like, I, I, I'm actually glad I did because no, when no, I was yeah. doing the three, yeah, I would actually even like, you know, like 
as I would stress myself that yes. while I was shooting and being like, okay, I, but I need like oh, three really good shots, even though the concept itself, right. it can be shot in just one and just be like, yeah, Man, that's the story itself. For sure. But here yeah, I am yeah. trying to shoot more of it, you know, just yeah. to make the, it was, I used to yeah. stress about the weirdest things. And yeah. Then, yeah. And then it turned into where I was like, you know what? I think someone taught me about the whole, like, you can post like 10 things in like one post and all that. Yeah. Now so you then, can. Yeah. So now that's when I, you can just, Oh yeah. Swipe, I, love, swipe, swipe. Oh, yeah I love that. Right. Thing now. So that's when I started doing like the whole, like, like trying to tell a story within 10 frames as yeah. much as possible. Okay. And then, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's tough too, because you're trying to, you know, please the machine, you know, but at the same yeah. time, it's like trying to stay true to yourself. Um, at the it end is. of the day, I did, I did the, the thing where, the color, color, black and white for me works just because I can show you both. That I can <laughs> yeah, do both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, I still post one picture and it's like here's one and one and one. Yeah. And it's different shoots and all different moods. And and a lot of people have like the same color and same like aesthetic. Like yeah, everything oh God, looks the yeah. same. Yeah. And to me now I'm like, I don't give a fuck. My sh- this is what a blue <laughs> period. This was a dark period. Yeah. Was, yeah I'm yeah. like, here's all red, here's a blue one. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Like I'm just gonna show it to you because to me this shot or this just you know th- this whole shoot meant so much to me you know even with the concept you know what i mean so i'm like fuck fuck the algorithm yeah fuck whatever anybody says and fuck this thing i'm like i just want to do it because everybody else is doing it too so I'm like, no I'm yeah saying, no yeah and it looks nice on some other people but like, yeah, i guess again it came down to like that's been my mindset for the last year because mm-hmm. again before that Oh God! Like I rarely post. I don't really. I'm, like, I I'm not really around anymore. And it was because of just all that. Like I don't oh, know. I don't know what it was. Like honestly, I just felt like the competition within people that didn't even know that it was a, com- a competition. So like, it was just within myself yeah. all the time of just being like, oh man, all these people have time to learn new things, and then now they're like amazing at it now. Mm-hmm. And I, if I started there, then I could have probably. You know, I just, I just, it takes me a while mm-hmm. to even try to take a process to even learn new yeah. things. And I think that, and that's what sucks because obviously you're going to get the same results and same mm-hmm. results until, you know, works, try different yeah. things, you know, whatever. So I don't know, just and not only that, but the pandemic kind of screwed everything up too. Yeah. So that, it, it definitely threw people for a loop, which is a good segue into why we started this whole thing. <laughs> but uh, we, I, I dubbed the, you know, 2020, the year of the lemon because the whole world had yeah, this whole lemon. Yeah. You know, here you yeah. go. And that's where everybody Okay, what do I make? Do I make lemonade? Do I sit here with these lemons and just bite into them and then sit there bitter or do something? I feel like a lot of people ended up doing more with that, which yeah. was great. You know, unfortunately, you know, the, the effect that it had. You no, know, yeah. Um, In the beginning, I was fully inspired. In the beginning, mm-hmm. I was kind of like, you know what? I still want to create some way, somehow from this. And yeah. I was inspired in the beginning. Yeah. Good. And towards the end, everything just got lost into mm-hmm. like, what is the point? That's when you started going to the mm-hmm. year end. Like, what is yeah. the point of all this? You know, what am I trying to? You know, whatever. I think at one point I did want to create like a a business from this. I, mm-hmm. That is something I did want to do. Mm-hmm. And then I just got out of that. I'm like, you know, if I constantly keep thinking that mm-hmm. way, then I'm so I just can't do everything I actually want to do. I'm gonna right. do everything, like you said, to feed the machine. I'm gonna do yeah. everything that is like the trend and blah blah yeah. blah. And but then I try to like literally you know, take a step back and realize, you know, a lot of the things that I've done. I feel like wasn't always part of a trend. So maybe that's what made the work be seen even mm-hmm. more. Cause no, for I sure. mean, so it's different. I, I don't know. So like as of now at this point, I'm becoming more comfortable. Just like, you know, let's go back to my old way. Let's go back to the roots of what actually mattered, right. which is just how the hell I felt. Yeah. When I was editing it. Cause I don't, <laughs> the thing about my process when I'm shooting it, mm-hmm. I never like it. I never like mm-hmm. everything that I'm shooting because in my head, I'm like, I could be doing this. I could be doing that. Mm-hmm. Or I'm missing a right. huge thing I actually wanted for this. And as I'm shooting it, it's hard for me to actually like, you know, like it but right. until the editing process. When I'm going through the editing process, like trying to figure out the tone and everything I'm adding to it, whether right. it's like Photoshopping something. Yeah, and yeah. that's when I start feeling more like, all right. It's, it's better. Yeah, it's like, it's awesome. And I mean, you, you have your own process. You know what I mean? If it works for you, great. Um it's tough not to stress on things because you want it to come out so great. You want it. Yeah. And once again, in your head, it's like 
this but yeah. when you bring it out you're like oh what the fuck like i didn't this is not how i envisioned it however no, the, the cool thing about <laughs> it is that you are doing it you know and i think you said it at one point like yo i'm just gonna start you know or the whole thing is too is like for me i always said like uh you know one of the regrets i have in life and i don't have many is that i didn't start sooner and i keep thinking like had i been doing yeah, what i'm yeah. doing 10 years ago or where would i have been right but the thing is Same. i didn't yeah. stop since i've started and I'm still going. And I honestly, there is no, like, maybe my stubbornness, <laughs> let's just call it that, um, makes me feel like, yo, I'm not going to stop. I can't stop. I'm too deep into it. I've come too far. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've learned too much. Yeah. And then now when I when I hear your story, when I hear you, like, yo, then I started, you know, uh, adapting this or, or or incorporating this stuff and that. I'm like, that makes yeah. me think, like, okay, I need to do more. <laughs> and that's the part of me, but... But it, yeah. it does it. Def, de, there's definitely a, 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 like a I'm not quitting type of fucking attitude because it's like, bro, all the work that I've done just to kind of yeah. like let it go. I'm like, hell no. No matter how people feel about it, no matter how even how I feel about it at times, you know, because sometimes it's just like, damn, I don't know if I'm good enough. This is there's this call. this yeah, yeah. imposter syndrome. Right. You know, oh, yeah. And yeah. and you look at your competition, you look at the community, and you're like, damn, those people are killing it. How, I'm not even there, man. That I like run, you know, my course. <laughs> but then, oh yeah, yeah. Oh god, I had that because during the whole things where like the meets were huge, and I mean they still, you mm-hmm. know, they're still something cool. But yeah. I haven't been to one in years. But yeah. when I was going, like, yeah, it did feel like a whole like, yeah, it felt awesome, and like you know, people would be like, oh yeah, you're black rabbit, blah yeah. blah, and it felt awesome. And then I just kind of just went out the end of everything yeah. I just kind of just went my own way yeah. and that's when everything started being yeah more like what you're saying it's just mm-hmm. like it's it's a it's a process I definitely it definitely is I think um it, it it I mean for me I deal with a lot of like the even the insecurities within myself I'm just like oh am I good enough just in general yeah, right yeah, and yeah. so then I'm is anything I do good enough yeah and so yeah. then that's why I my thing that i've resorted to was not stopping and, and 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 quitting it's more like i have to do more continue to do more and greater and bigger but yeah. the thing is it's it's never gonna be enough for me so i've learned to one of the biggest things is be present more present so when i yeah. hear you talk about man when i'm there i'm thinking about the next step already it's like yo you're not present as much yeah remember that this person one this person is here for you and they're part of that process they're part of your creation so it's be appreciative for that not that you're not yeah but they're they're part of that too so you know for me that's helped me to look at who's involved who am i in the space with yeah. and that always helps me too because it's like yo we're creating something later on the next step is my own and we'll deal with that but when you're in that moment i'm just like i'm just happy to be here to be able to still create <laughs> because yeah. i could have been like fuck this i'm out when i felt felt a certain way you know, and now I'm actually yeah, it's 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 really awesome to hear that someone who again who has that mindset that does mm-hmm. not quit. Mm-hmm. I went through it, and I think I literally kind of did. I mean, I again, I didn't post for the longest time. Mm-hmm. I just wasn't even creating everything new, mm-hmm. and thankfully, yeah, I feel like I haven't stopped yet. Mm-hmm. But again, like you were saying, it's mm-hmm. just the ideas in your head get bigger and bigger. Yeah. And bigger. So I still try to work with, uh, like, again, what it used to feel like. I used to just work with what I had, even if it was, like, oh, for sure. props from the 99 cent store, yeah. things that I was turning yeah. into. But you'll, you'll turn in something, you'll paint in a certain way. And you'll exactly. I felt down. like I had, like, a process just to be like, this is the point of the concept. So right. we're just getting to the point. Yeah. Now, as time went on, mm-hmm. I was thinking of, like, even, like, bigger environments. of Like, mm-hmm. oh, I want to shoot inside a huge church. I want to do blah, blah, blah. And, like, right. it just became too, like, to the point where I'm, like, it just because of that yeah and not like getting the image out in the way i wanted to it's mm-hmm. like it just nothing was coming out the mm-hmm. way i wanted to and then yeah. and then like and so going back to my process just felt like i don't want to go back there anymore you know i want mm-hmm. a big i want to do bigger things no, blah sure. blah blah and yeah no i mean but for sure i think that uh you should like mm customs bro if she felt that in the way or felt that in that moment just go for it and you know easier said than done <laughs> but that that's the thing about for me, in my in my experience with life is like if you think about it, yeah, it could be done. Oh, There's yeah. gonna take a big, you know, larger process for now because you're trying to get a bigger 
you know, idea out. But the thing yeah. is, it's your idea. And if you don't show it, then it would never come to life. And then no one's ever going to see it. No one's ever going to hear of it. Yeah. You know, and I think, and I always say this, like, it's important. Like, this whole thing for me, I feel is important because we're showcasing these folks that are on here and I'm fans of and all these other people. But yeah. so that somebody else could see that, yo, they go through the same thing as me. We share the same freaking mindset. Oh, but they're still continuing to create. And I don't want you, Justin, Black Rabbit, <laughs> to, I don't want you to stop. Yeah, just yeah. because I'm a fan and I want to see it. But I think I the thing is too like I don't I I would suggest not worrying too much about the gram, not worrying too much about social media. Oh God, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. You continue because I I've done that. Oh yeah, I felt stupid in the mm-hmm. end how much I actually gave a shit about it. I I really I didn't. I felt really mm-hmm. stupid in the end mm-hmm. after taking that huge break and everything. Yeah. And again, that's that's what got me to just be like, you know, let's go back to just step one. Of the yeah. way this made me feel because yep. in the end. Even while I was doing that, mm-hmm. the biggest reward I got from everything was just people I didn't even know, and I, you know, I mm-hmm. didn't know, and just seeing those comments of what it meant to them. Right, and, no, and for sure, yeah, some of the things are like uh, sometimes they're completely the opposite of what I was doing it for. Right. But God, it doesn't matter. That's just mm. you know, like just getting them to feel something, and that's just right. you know, being a very empathetic person. I was mm-hmm. just like, that just means a lot. To oh, me. for sure. That means a huge deal to mm-hmm. me. So like, again, I lost track of all that at some point, yeah. and I just started doing like, okay, but like, how do you how do you get more likes and all this stupid? Right. No, no, I get shit, it. No, you know? I mean, yeah. And then now I think I, I think I forgot the last post I did. But it was an old one from like three years ago. Just going back to it, I think it was like months and uh, from the last one even before that. Mm-hmm. Just from that, it went back to that again. It went mm-hmm. back to just like, you know, just, just really awesome and beautiful things that yeah. people can say just about just what they feel yep. towards that. Not it's like, oh, yeah, you know, it's a good image. No, it's like, right. and yeah. that's what kind of just, again, got me back to just like, this is what I want to do again. Mm-hmm. I just want to go back to just being like, all right, I feel something from this. Yeah. Here it is. To the world, yeah, just feel I, something from it either too. Or, I, you know, I think just, I think that's the that's one of the points of art. You know, you you take it from whatever it is that you're going through, you're feeling, maybe even feeling because of your environment or what's going on in the world. Yeah. You know, and so you you present this image. And you create it, and then people are like, "Yeah, I feel exactly the same fucking way." I didn't know that I could, I could, you know, yeah. to see it in a picture. Yes, you know, I've done that oh, plenty yeah. of times, and I and I hope to do that as well for somebody. Um, oh, but yeah. I think it's also that's it's a form of validation because it's like you feel like I do. We, you know, we got this. Yeah, We're good. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm glad that it's, I'm not alone in this. You know, and, and that's why that's a I feel like it's a big thing. And this is why I, I um, advocate for people to continue to make what they do, to do what they do, make their art, yeah. you know, not just an art, but anything that they're following their own within themselves, their own dreams. Oh, yeah. Big time. You know? like, no, big time. Because, again, I got to a point where I was just I just want to make a I just want to make a beautiful image. Mm-hmm. That's it. And that's actually something that you would ironically you get lost in, too. Because now you're not even focusing on any of the feelings behind it. What I just want to create a beautiful image, right? And that is what it's something I actually started doing at some point too, which now I regret. Mm-hmm. Like I used to actually have heart that was into it, and like oh something yeah. I was feeling or whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. And then I felt like those just did the best on their own. Yeah. You know? So I, I don't. Yeah, I mean it, it's hard, you know, especially when you uh, use social media to measure what an image is valued yeah. or how it's valued in a sense, you know, um, it's tough because the world will tell you, nope, we don't like it or yes, we like it a lot. And it's like, <laughs> did I really make it for the world? Did I do it for myself? You know, yeah. if, it, if it resonates, great. Like you said, those comments that people, hey, they felt, I'm glad you felt that way. Oh, I did God. too or um, well, that's definitely not the feeling I was going for but I'm glad <laughs> it impacted you in some way yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah big time big time you know but yeah that's why I always, like I said I always uh, like I tell you I'm a big fan of you there's a couple other photographers up in LA that I'm fans of that I've been trying to get on <laughs> you know what I mean I'm not gonna call them out yeah everybody's got their own process you know everybody's going through their own stuff and whatever but I'm I'm grateful to have you here today to oh, you know man. to have you share your story um, real quick if you just wanna throw out your um, social so that people People can go and see it, and we're gonna put it in the show notes and all that stuff. Yeah, so uh, it's Black Rabbit, B L A Q K dot Rabbit. Got it. Yeah. There you go, Black yeah, Rabbit. A, yeah, I had to change it. <laughs> it used to be Black Rabbit Photography. 
Okay. They yeah. used to get annoying. Like I would always post, and like the things would be like my name would be too long. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. some random person tried to sue me, like in the UK, because their their studio was called Black Rose oh, Photography. Wow. Yeah, yeah, and of course I just ended up just changing the cue to the whatever, and they got mad at me for that. But then I was like, oh, like yeah, oh, you can't do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, well, I'm like, I just changed it just the way it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, I mean, I I love your stuff. Why Black Rabbit? Oh, why? Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was I wanted to ask that question. Um, so it came from my grandma. Okay, that's uh, like it was just more of a thing uh, from her. Mm-hmm. So my grandma. Trying to see up a short story of this. My grandmother was uh, abandoned. She okay. didn't know any of her family, nothing. She was abandoned at a train station in New Mexico. Oh wow! So, when someone found her, and I, but I guess they just already knew that she was Native American. Whatever. She ended up mm-hmm. going to an orphanage, which were the missions mm-hmm. back then. She was literally raised there the entire time. Okay. So she would tell me like these fun little stories, like just cool little stories that she mm-hmm. was just growing up in the mission and so on and mm-hmm. so forth. That's actually where she met my grandfather as well. Oh, dope. And they would go to, I guess, their version of town, mm-hmm. which would be like a mile, almost two miles away from the mission. Just dirt road, no yeah, yeah. lights, no nothing right. back then. And they would go and see like film or whatever. Mm-hmm. Anyway, long story short, she would like, she had a couple of times where she like went over there and then she decided she didn't want to see it or whatever. Mm. So she would walk back on her own. Mm-hmm. Small little light she was able to talk about. And she would just see rabbits just following her. Oh, she wow. Was, yeah, just little rabbits that yeah, would yeah. just follow her. And it was like a little... And then she just remembers... Uh, she said something about like a little black rabbit. Mm-hmm. And there would like be a few of them, whatever. But when she got back to there and she kind of told, I guess, like the nuns and all the stuff mm-hmm. over there... They would make her like feel like, you know, that's a very bad omen. That's mm. very blah blah blah. That's it's witchy. That's you know right. the devil in disguise when it comes into mm-hmm. forms of black, you know, right. and like what of animals and all that stuff. So, uh, just another time she went out, it happened again. For mm-hmm. the thing, then she after, she never told anyone else, mm-hmm. and her thing was just like she just found comfort in it. Mm. She doesn't know why. Nice, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Everyone around her is telling her these are bad. This is no, no, no. You know, whatever. You know, these are witches and whatever. Right. So on, so forth. And she, but she found comfort in it. That's dope. And whatever. Yeah. And then she told me this story like a few times. And I, when it came to actually doing like my name, I, I changed it. I had I had like two different names mm-hmm. when I first started. I think one of them was like Mike's Hero, and the other one was like Sander Cohen or something like that. It was okay. like a character from uh, a video game. Okay. And I, when it came down to that, so I kind of like thought about like her thought process. All and as well, she used mm-hmm. to have really crazy dreams that she would tell oh, me about. Wow. Yeah. Crazy, and I actually turned a few of them into some of my concepts yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. And. So when it came down to the process, she's already passed away by this point. Mm-hmm. And of course, she's like a huge inspiration to a lot of Sounds things, cool. actually, ironically, wow, yeah. like horror movies. I love this, yeah. Just a lot of things, you know, mm-hmm. that just came from her. So then mm-hmm. when it, yeah, that's when I ended up deciding. I was like, you know what? I'm going to call it Black Rabbit Photography. Yeah. And then, I love it. it. It's real personal. You know what I mean? And it's 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 just, you know, like it's personal. It's it's your own thing. Yeah. It's not like, oh, I just picked the name from a character from whatever. You know <laughs> oh, what that's I mean? the short story. Right. And sometimes I'll, that's sometimes people ask, like, hey, would you get Black Rabbit from? I'm like, ah, oh, you know, that Donnie Darko rabbit. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you can, like, yeah oh, really? Yeah. Black. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, Frank. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and that's what I was asking. Wake so up. so, <laughs> so yeah, there's yeah. like a short, yeah, there's a short story of that, but that's like, yeah, yeah, no, I love it. I love that story. It's it's great. Thank you for sharing that. That's, oh, yeah, that's no, so no, dope. No. That I love that one. That's a good one. Um, but uh, real quick, we, Matt, you got a question for our guest today? All right, here it comes. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. <laughs> Get ready for it. Do me a favor, real before you try not to put your mouth so much on your awesome. your hand on your mouth because then I can't. Better. Yeah, yeah. We want to hear this one. <laughs> so this one's kind of a twofer. Okay, here we go. Okay. If uh, if you were cast in a, the next Batman movie. Uh huh. And you could play any villain that you wanted to. Who would you play, and why would they cast Frank as the Penguin? What the fuck? Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it! I was actually gonna say the Penguin because of my freaking body mass. Wait, uh, so okay. I'm trying to think of a really dark brown character. Oh, Clayface. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Clayface. You could, yeah, you, you could pull yeah. that off. Yeah, for sure. All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The CGI on that would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, they'll put you in the green suit, and you're just like, ah. Oh. Yeah. Why am I the penguin? That's what the fuck I want to know. First off, Danny DeVito's the greatest penguin ever. 
to me. Crazy. You know what I mean? Awesome. Um, but now the the new Batman has uh, Colin Farrell. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was weird to see. Oh, him. he did awesome in that too. Though. No, you no, know, he, he did. did amazing. Was, I I didn't even. You couldn't tell if you didn't know. You no, no. Tell. Yeah. That was that was the beauty of this. Who's Colin. your Who's your favorite Batman? Uh, uh, my favorite Batman, uh, Michael Keaton. Yeah, ah, yeah that's like a. I, yeah, it's I, classic. Yeah. I love that era with what Tim Burton did with it. I thought I just thought it was a cool okay. like I, I love right, the whole right. environment that he did with it. So. Tim Burton, I did. Man, Michael Keaton was because oh, that was the first one. Oh, my, I just had a job, probably like George Clooney. Which one had the nips? George Clooney. Had <laughs> was the nips. Nips. That's yeah. when they started it with George Clooney. Nipples, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but um, I love the second one with Catwoman. You know, oh, yeah. her Michelle Pfeiffer. Oof, Michelle Pfeiffer, if you're watching. <laughs> right here Her and Sandra Bullock I had crushes on You know From the 90s Oh really? Yeah Sandra Bullock <laughs> Yeah So yeah for, for Catwoman For Michelle Pfeiffer And then um, Speed When I was young It was, Ali- it was Alicia Silverstone Yes I, I don't know why Yo, I don't I know mean, why I just, uh, that, I just remember that. As I was like, if Yeah <laughs> Now later on I mean she She ages well I'm just gonna throw that out Oh yeah I yeah, don't know no, other no, way no. To put that but <laughs> Miss Silverstone If you're watching Black <laughs> Rabbit Anyways, well, um, Justin, Black, Mr. Black Rabbit, it is a pleasure. Thank you for your time, for your energy, and for your story. It is one of my favorites. It's a very lovely one, especially the one about your grandma. Um, of course, yeah. Please, uh, once again, thank you for being here, for coming all the way. Thank you for everything you do. Yes. Please keep doing it. And uh, he, we here at the Lemonade Podcast, we just say, yo, keep taking your lemons and continue making your lemonade. And today we toast yes. to you, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Of course. Definitely. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Penguin, it's really? Good ass freaking yeah, homemade, map made. Are you I'm, serious, really? No. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to say, I'm like, what? He's I'm like, like yes. Yeah, like, yeah, Matt takes the credit for all, the, <laughs> for everything. Y'all, really. y'all knew make it yourself. Urinate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pour it on him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, how was it? You had fun. That was awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff. Nah, man, I'm really appreciative for you coming out here. Of course, yeah. It's no. it's a pleasure and an honor, you know, to 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 have you come out and, and be part of our. Or at least my vision, and then it now becomes ours, and it's been growing. Yeah, no, um, definitely. So. It's actually, I, it's, it's really awesome what you're yeah. doing. It really is. Like, it really is cool what you're doing. Yeah, thank you. Um, but thanks again, bro. Appreciate it. Of course, you. man. Yeah. Thank you, man. That, that, that was awesome. That was fun. <laughs> you did great. I hope so. Yeah, no, I'm you did great. No, no, you did. <laughs>